We've had a hearing this morning between the Civil Liberties Committee and the Human Rights Subcommittee to highlight the humanitarian crisis affecting prisoners at Guantanamo Bay who cannot be returned to their countries of origin for fear of torture or persecution or because they are stateless. They are not among those. There are about 275 people still in Guantanamo, of which about 80 have been designated for so-called trial by military commissions, which we, I'm afraid, regard as kangaroo courts. But uh, of the remaining 200, we know that 50, the uh, U US authorities, are content to see leave Guantanamo. And, but they need a safe haven. And we're asking European countries to step up to the plate and to offer uh, a humanitarian solution to this situation. The EU countries have called for the closure of Guantanamo. Although we regard the US as primarily responsible for this situation, and it's rather ironic that we have to ask Europe to help, the political reality is that during this year, while President Bush is still in office and in an election year, the US is not going to resettle these people in America. So European Union countries must uh, try and help find a solution. Otherwise, these individuals who are living in really uh, unacceptable and appalling conditions in Guantanamo will be the victims of this legal and diplomatic black hole.